And we are back, and we are loading. We took a day off or so to, uh, from playing this game, because, wow, that, that last bit, <laughs> that, that made it hard to sleep. For you. Okay, okay. As much as I love this, I am a wimp. I'm not one for horror movies, so... Meanwhile, I watched them since I was 10. They don't really phase me much. <laughs> at least not at night. So, but yeah, good suspense, because we've been playing that game for an, for over an hour and a half before the thing even showed up. Now, granted, probably 30 minutes of it was me getting my ass kicked. <laughs> oh, hey. People running. Map. Might need that. Might. Ooh, pleasure android. So. Oh. Anyway. As if that's any surprise. And they locked the door behind him. How courteous. Hello. My name's Ripley. Amanda Ripley. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the 600 series were flawed. Rubber skin. Very easy to spot. Wow, look at the fold on the neck. Mm-hmm. Very obvious. Very, very obvious. Kind of disturbing, too. Yeah. That I don't deny. <laughs> Bonding agent. Still very Wow, unique. and his eyes are glowing. That's downright creepy. <laughs> Bishop, those guys are not. No. Speaking of which, uh... The characters Bishop and Ash from uh, the Alien franchise. Now, now the Bishop character went from something sympathetic and redeemable of what androids were portrayed as in the uh, in the first film, vis-a-vis -vis Ash, to kind of becoming self-parody with all of the uh, portrayals Lance Hendrickson did. But do you think that? <clears throat> the fact that Ash was an android. Okay, that's creepy. Was a yeah, it kind stop of is. Stop staring at me. And stop looking so polite. Anyway, do you think the Ash character would have worked uh, if he was just a normal human being? No. <laughs> I you know obviously the uh, boot him back up after he. Uh, after he was decapitated, thing wouldn't work with a regular human. I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? <laughs> the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. I wouldn't advise it. They have so much on the hands to show the. You can show the typing, and yet the neck has that fold. Well, That's... Which is really interesting, because you'd think these would all be based on the same mass-produced uh, skeleton. So, creating perfectly taut skin that would move appropriately. What's you this? Would... Ooh! Ooh. Some kind of tracker. Okay. It's been modified. Well, all right. Hard oh. to complain about that. Oh, that's clever. Look at look at the uh, depth of field. Oh, Jesus. No, no problem. Wow, they creep up on you very very fast. Yep. Oh. oh. Okay. Ooh, flashbangs. Okay, Let's the glowy build. eyes are the creepiest. Flashbangs. Oh. I'm gonna need these. Let's see here. Left bumper to craft. The glowy eyes are the creepiest. Really? Alright, let's... And because I have the parts, let's build another one. Data, he is not. <laughs> even though he looks like Data. <laughs> Remember... Data even had better a better neckline. Yep. Neckline. That's a word. <laughs> Do you remember the, uh, do you remember the, uh, song by Voltaire? Yes. <laughs> she discovered the pleasures of data. Fully functional. And anatomically correct. 
So, um... <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I was trying to say before we got... Whoops! No, don't pull the gun out unless you need it. Alright, notice the field of vision. It blurs. Yeah, when the You're zoning in on the... You're literally zoning yourself so much in on one point that everything else don't, flips oh. out. And truth be told, I've actually had that happen on occasions. Well, yeah, it's just a natural way that the eyes focus. Yeah. And it's far easier to zone yourself in on something and kind of let everything else... Access rewire. Ooh. So. <laughs> what can I mess with? Lighting, air purification, air purification, lighting. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> where, <laughs> where do I go? Where do you go? I'm assuming a vent. Yeah, that's a very good idea. I Me, mean, a vent crawl through damn near everywhere else. <laughs> you notice that the vents look like little metal buttholes? Ah, <sighs> you wouldn't make that observation, wouldn't you? <laughs> Actually, I didn't realize it until I saw uh, uh, Tim Buckley from uh, Control Alt Delete. Uh, he was doing a let's play of this, and he kept commenting on it. He was obsessed with metal buttholes. Well, that's okay. certainly different. Hmm. S idle synthetic storage. Service hmm. exchange. Relay facility. There's a door over there, but that's where you came in anyway, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so that doesn't count. Oh, hey. The little tracker thing hmm. showed up on my... Or the little objective marker showed up on my. Yay! Tracker. Objective markers! <laughs> yeah, but it's on the screen. It's not on. Or it's on the device. It's not on the screen. Well, that's so, the way to. So pulling that up is still going to be a risk to find out where I'm going, particularly. All right. I'm wondering if uh, something glitched out, because... Keycard required... I. Okay, there has to be a vent or, or, or something... that I missed in here. There does have to be something. Question is, what the heck Wait is? a second, I know. <laughs> I forgot, I feel like an idiot. Utility, door access. Ah. Hey! IR can has be smart now, please. <coughs> so, more creepy robots. Um, so yeah, back to the Ash character. Um, you, you don't think that the Ash character would have worked as a human. He had to be that unfeeling obey orders at, because I literally cannot disobey him. Yeah. Literally had to be. There was positively no way to do otherwise. Hmm. So, um, and yeah, I Bishop started off as the an antithesis to Ash, the same, but uh, but not. He was sympathetic. He had compassion. Um, even though his compassion was explained as a plot MacGuffin to literally tell everyone this is not. <laughs> this is not like uh, really the last guy. You should really do something with your scrap. Uh, I, there's nothing for me to do. Uh. At, at this point. I, I, you don't have all I, the components. Got it. Yeah. Ooh, compound. Oh, that's a radio. Don't want to use that. Noisemaker, version one. Hmm. All what right. does that use? That's a good question. One thing that I don't have. Clearly. 
So, um... But, you know, later Bishop characters kind of became a parody. I mean... The, uh... Um... The bishop that showed up at the end of Alien 3 was an ob was an obvious plot device to exploit Ripley's emotions because she had grown not necessarily attached, but grown to respect Bishop. Although, how would Waylon Yutani know that? And uh Charles Wayland in the uh, in uh, Alien vs. Predator was more concerned with um, you know trying to not even trying to achieve some form of immortality he was more concerned with uh, what was it um, trying to stay alive because of that lung cancer that he had yeah so <clears throat> you know both were antithetical to to the bishop character of the original film. Okay, different hacking game. There we go. Hmm, not too shabby. Well, at least it's not all uh, Pictionary. Okay, seriously, now you're gonna have one. I'm gonna have one thing in my mind the second that I see those every single time. Metal buttholes. No. Oh. And then there's this asshole. Finally, finally, we've waited four, ye four seasons for this. <laughs> oh, Penn and Teller's bullshit. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, need to actually use the flashlight. Let me pass. It's me, Hughes. Don't you recognize me? Listen hmm. to me. <laughs> we've got to reestablish long-range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Is he? Get back! I'm warning you! Oh. Oh my. Okay, single revolver to the throat won't do it. I seriously hope you don't have to actually fight these things. I'm probably gonna have to fight these things. I'm definitely gonna have to fight these things. <laughs> Unless you can manage to somehow avoid them. Entirely. That would be preferable. It's bad enough that I gotta deal with a big black phallic alien. Phallic. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and not, and I'm not saying that to be cheeky. That was H.R. Giger's intention. So don't be found. Yep. Well, that's certainly. Notice that the revolver changed places. It was resting right here, and now it's back in his hand. Huh. Alright, that door is locked. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so... Setting down. Okay, first off, just in case, I'd rather be armed. Probably smart, since he basically KO'd. <laughs> Ooh, access terminal. So, how many shots do you think it do you think it'll take to cap those guys? I don't know. So, all right. Hold to hide. Hold to hide. Well, and hopefully, you don't have to hide. I'm probably gonna have to hide. Somehow. Alright, we got one asshole up there. And another one right there. Looks like he's behind the desk, though. And behind glass. Which is either good or bad. Well, his back is turned. That's... That's something. Yes, it is. And how long before they react? That's the question. 